So if you just got a Lenovo Tab M10 Plus, third generation, or if you're just new to Lenovo tablets in general, I thought I would give you some tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your new tablet. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> First thing I like to do is go into the settings under the brightness level and display. There's a toggle here for adaptive brightness. I know some people like to use that so it automatically adjusts the brightness of the screen depending on how bright the lighting is around your area. But for me, I like to turn that off. For me, I like to have a little bit more control and then I just manually turn the screen brightness up and down. And you can do that right there in the settings or it's a little easier just in the notification shade. You'll also notice wallpaper is right there. Pretty simple to customize that. Or if you're on the home screen, just tap and hold. And you can choose your wallpaper right there. You can also go to home screen and you've got a few different things to choose from here. Like the entertainment space when you swipe left of the home screen. You also have the option to download apps to the home screen after you download a new one and you can use wallpaper to generate a theme as well. Now let's say you want to search your tablet for something. You've got a couple different things you can customize here. One if you want to use the keyboard at a lot smaller scale, just tap this little icon here and it makes it more like on a cell phone. And then you can just move that around. Tap on it again to expand the keyboard. Then if you go into settings, preferences, go ahead and toggle on the one that says number row. Then when you go back to the keyboard, you can see the numbers are right there at the top. Just makes it a little bit easier when typing in my opinion. It's also pretty easy to do split screen on here. Just go to your recent apps, tap and hold and choose split screen. And then just go ahead and choose your other app. You've got a little divider here in the middle that you can slide back and forth. And then that's pretty much it. You can do two different apps at the same time. And then to close one, just swipe this all the way over. And then you're back to just one app. Now for me, I like the three button navigation down here at the bottom, but you've also got some more options. If you go into settings, if you just start searching for navigation, it should just come right up here. And then you have the option of gesture navigation or three button navigation. You've also got settings here for gesture navigation to control the sensitivity. And you can also choose to swipe for the digital assistant app. So it's really gonna come down to personal preference on whether you like gesture navigation or the three button navigation. If you search for gestures, you'll see that you also have the option to quickly open the camera just by pressing the power button twice quickly, even if the tablet is locked. The other thing you may want to do is, which is going to change everything from white to black in most cases. I've got a shortcut right up here in the notification shade, but if for some reason you don't see that, just hit the little pencil down here in the corner. And then if it's down here at the bottom, just tap it and drag it to the top. And then you can put that anywhere you like. Then when you go to the notification shade, it should be right there. As you can see, sort of turns everything a dark gray and black instead of being white. Along with your Google search bar there as well. The little handle over here for the entertainment space. You'll also notice in the notification shade, this bottom part is now black instead of white. Now the speakers on here sound pretty good just right out of the box, but you'll want to make sure that you've got Dolby Atmos turned on. You can turn that on right in the notification shade. Or if you tap and hold, you've got other options here as well. You can choose dynamic, movie, or music depending on what you want it to sound like. For me, I think dynamic usually sounds the best. Now let's say you watch YouTube a lot and you're not sure why it looks sort of pixelated or lower resolution. You can always just tap up in the corner where the little gear icon is and then go into advanced where you've got several different resolutions to choose from. Obviously depending on how they recorded the video is going to determine what kind of resolution you've got. Another thing that's kind of a shortcut for sound on here, you'll notice as you turn the volume up and down, you'll see three little dots. Tap on those and you've got a little more control over media volume, alarm, notification volume. You can adjust those how you like or you can even say see more. And then you've got several other sound options to choose from. If you want to put this tablet on silent, just hit the little bell there at the top of the volume and switch it over. 
Now, if you get tired of your screen turning off while using it, one thing I like to do with a new tablet is go into the screen timeout and there you can choose how long before it goes to sleep. You can change that from 30 seconds up to 30 minutes or choose never. If you happen to have the Precision Pin 2, there is some settings in here for that as well. Just go to Lenovo Pin. You're going to see several things like show memo ball, press and hold the top button on the stylus to show or hide the memo menu. And you can even toggle on the writing sound so when you're writing, it sounds like you're writing on paper. The nice thing is you can connect several things to this like a keyboard and mouse, maybe an Xbox controller. All you do is go into connected devices. And then once you have your device in pairing mode, it should just pop right up. Once you choose it, just choose pair. So pretty simple to connect. And nice thing is you can connect several devices all at the same time. You can also use a USB-C to USB-A adapter if you want to get files off of here. Uh, you can connect several different things to this like an external drive, card readers. You can even connect a USB microphone or even plug a USB mouse in and it's going to work on here as well. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.